Hello everyone, and today I am going to be showing you how to solve the Rubik's clock. Clock is a very unpopular, unpopular event because it's a different shape, it's a totally different movement, but you still be able to solve it, not be able to, but it's actually fun to learn how to solve it. So, first thing that like you want to know is how the pins affect all of these wheels. So, there are two sides. If you have um, one pin up, it moves all of the clocks around it. So these four around it. The middle, top, top, uh, top, right? And then the right side in the middle. If you have it here, it moves these clocks but uh, but always make sure that the pin that you have up then you're turning the wheel next to that pin like so if you turn this one it it will not turn uh, like these will stay in place and then so on uh, these will move here and then these will move here if you have a, a two of them up then it will move the clocks around this and so it will move these six clocks right here Uh, if you have them diagonal, it move these ones right here and here. So every, so uh, that means that everything will turn except these two right here. Now for uh, if we have a pin down, then it will only move this one right here. If you have two pins, oops, then it will move these two around. Three pins getting stuck if you have three pins it will move these four pins it will move all of these and then on the back side uh it's the opposite so if you have all of the pins down here then it it will turn these corners but on the other side all of them will be up and it will turn everything since all of the pins are up and now the last thing that you need to know in my opinion um is that if you turn uh, th this clock, then the other uh, clock on the opposite side uh, also matches it. And, uh, and that will be very important uh, later, because it will skip a step, which I will explain how to do later. The first step is to make a cross on the uh, front and back side. So here you just can move one pin up. And then turn uh, the center piece, uh, like the center clock, to match up with any of these. So you turn this one up, and let's say that you want to uh, match it with this one right here. So you turn this until the center one matches with this one. Then you can put this pin back down, and then you can bring this one up. And then turn these three. In, in this case, I'll just focus on these two to match up with anything else uh, with one of like with this one or this one, but not like the other one because then you can't really match it up with with anything else. So you match these two with this one, for example, or this one. Uh, actually, uh, we're going to match it with this one because uh, if we turn this and, and since there's only one pin up, is going to turn all of these, so we can't match this up. So we're going to match these two with this one. And now we're going to um, bring all of these to match with either of these. I'm just going to choose the top one. And then for the last uh, one that we're going to match up with, we're going to put these two pins up right here to match all of these. Uh on the left side and on the middle uh, but we're just going to focus on these right here to match up with this one so then we put these two pins up match it up with this one and then lastly just put all of the pins up and bring it to the top side and then that makes the cross then in, and then you're going to flip it over and then here uh you're going to do the same thing so we're going to match this uh the center one with this one, for example, like that, 
and then we're gonna match these with this one these with this one and then lastly uh, uh these down here with this one so we're going to this one up move it here and then for this one uh, you won't have to uh, align it because it cancels into the next step which is to uh, now put all of these uh, corners to match up with this one so here what, uh, what you can do is put all of the pins up and make sure that uh, like they haven't messed up anything here and then you're going to match like instead of putting this one down and putting this one uh, to match up with these uh, that will mess up the back one uh, the back cross so instead uh, you want to match up all of these cross pieces with that one so we're going to put this one down and then everything else will turn except that one and, and now if you match it up just put the pin back up and then you want to do the same thing with the other one so put this pin down match all of these with this one then put this one up put this one down match them up and then lastly, match these up like this, put all of the pins up, and then put all of the clocks uh, to face up. And then the back side will, will also be solved. And the reason is because if you paid attention in the beginning of the video, I mentioned how uh, the clock right here matches this one right here. So it's going to be the mirror of it. So here are uh, the mirror of this, be this. So this is at a 2 o'clock, then the one on the back will be here, which is at 11 o'clock. Oh, sorry. If this is at 2 o'clock, then this one will be on the mirror side, which is right here. So on at uh, 10 o'clock, right there. So yeah, that's how you solve the clock. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.